In this tutorial, we will show you how the inverter's internal transfer switch works. Ever wonder how your Outback system goes into battery backup almost instantaneously after a power outage? Or how it can accept an AC source for charging, or as a secondary backup source? It's magic! No, just kidding. All Outback inverter chargers come equipped with an internal transfer switch to alternate between two modes, inverting and accepting an AC source. This internal transfer switch provides an anti-islanding for grid-tied systems, generator charging for off-grid systems, and smart energy management functions. Okay, let's take a closer look. The transfer switch is composed of two relays, one for the AC input and another for inverter output. The relay contacts are rated for 60 amps at 120 volts single phase for FXR inverters and 50 amps at 240 volts split phase for radian inverters. However, the inverter may only invert based on the rating of the unit. For example, a VFXR 3648A inverter may pass through up to 60 amps at 120 volts, but can only invert 3600 watts or 30 amps AC. Note, the inverter does not filter or actively condition the AC source. Let's go through three different scenarios, grid tied mode, charge mode, and grid zero mode. In grid tied mode, once the grid power is qualified, the AC input relay closes. Inverter synchronizes to the source and begins to pass through the AC source to the output. Once the cell conditions are met, the inverter will begin to push battery power first to the output. Once the loads are satisfied, the remainder will be exported back to the grid. In charger mode, once the generator power is qualified, the AC input relay closes and begins to pass through the AC to the output. Once the charger engages, the AC power is pushed in reverse to the batteries. In this mode, the AC source must be big enough to satisfy loads plus charging. In grid zero mode, once the grid power is qualified, the AC input relay closes and the inverter synchronizes it begins to pass through the AC to the output. Once the grid zero conditions are met, the inverter will begin to blend the grid and battery power so both can satisfy the loads, minimizing purchased utility power. Alrighty, thanks for watching.